With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. From the top of a tower of height 40 meter, a ball is projected upward with a velocity with a speed of 20 meter per second at an angle of elevation 30 degree. The ratio of the total time taken by the ball to hit the ground to the time taken the ball come at the same level as that of the tower. So if I see the tower height is 40 meter, right? And from this tower, the ball is projected at an angle of 30 degree with a speed of 20 meter per second, like this. And this height is given it is 40 meter. So you can get this time when it will be at the same level simply by using the time of flight formula in range. In, in projectile motion when it will travel this distance in horizontal direction. So I will write the time of flight is simply u sin theta by g so here the u is 20 sin 30 it is it will be half by g is 10 so this will get cancelled out sin 30 is half so it will take two second to reach here at t equals to two second t1 let's say it is two second at here now let's say it it's hits the ground after some time you can get this by writing the second equation of motion in vertical direction. So if you see initially it was having a velocity in vertical direction like a u sin theta. In horizontal direction we need not to calculate. So I will write u sin 30 degree. So that is u into sin 30 is half so it will be 10. In vertically upward direction it is having a velocity 10. So if I take downward direction as positive, so I will write the height, this uh, displacement in y direction, it is equals to ut plus this half a y t square. Now you can put the value, h here is 40. Initially u was in upward direction and if you see we already got it is 10 meters. So I will put a negative sign with 10 plus half g so g is 10 right so let me write it here half g t square so from here i will get this 5 t square minus 10 t minus 40 is equals to 0 divide this by 5 you will get 2 t it will be 8 right 40 by 5 it is 8 now i can write down this equation as minus 40 plus 2t minus 8 is equals to 0. Now if you take uh, this t common here I will write uh, t into this and plus 2t minus 4 it is equals to 0. So you will get t is equals to minus 2 and t is equals to 4 second. So we will ignore the negative value and I will write the time t2 when it will strike the ground it is 4 second. So let's say this is the time t2 and it is 4 second and this is the time t1 and we wanted the ratio. So I will write the ratio t2 by t1 it will be equal to 4 by 2 that is 2 is to 1 and this will be the answer of this question. Now you can check for the option A is the correct answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.